Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the PHP framework called Lava and I will show you how you can work with the error handling and how you can create your own exceptions inside the Lava project. It's uh, not so hard as it should be. I have uh, used a lot of time to understand how it's working because the documentation is not so good in my uh, in my opinion. And uh, then I'm searching for, for, for data around the net and then I I think I'm figure out what what happening right now so I will try to teach you about how uh, how it's working so the first I will show and learn you it's uh, how the structure is it's uh, setting up and the next one is how we can make a very simple one so if you don't found the page then you will be sending to the page uh, for 104 and the next and the last step will be how you can create your own exception if you need to say this uh, this post is not found. So let's uh, let's begin to speak about the the structure here. If you have your app and the exception, then you have the exception handler. This is uh, where you're working with the with the exceptions inside the level. And if you have uh, a special exceptions you don't need to be reported, then you can add it here and then you can add the uh, registry here if you have some uh, callbacks for, for the applications. So this is uh, the main exceptions handler for, for Laval. And I don't want to use this for now, And uh, but it's very good to know where it is. And then we have the config, if you're going down the config uh, app here, and we need to search for the debug, debug uh, mode here. As a default, it's false if you don't have it inside your environment file. And when you run in production, it's very important uh, for you to not showing the, the errors because if you're showing the errors on your website, you can show sensitive data and the structure of where the bug is and you're not interested in that, of course. So when you're running in production, it it's, will always be false. Of course, it's up to you, but I would recommend you that. And then if you're going for the env file here, you can see in my case here, it will be the the true about the app debug. So that's uh, a little bit about how the structure is it's working. And uh, if you're going back for the handler here, um, we, can, we can just go down here to directory. Um, the callbacks about the application here, it's if you use the websites like Sentry to, to capture your, your box and then you have the other interface to look that uh, box then you can use the register here and I'm pretty sure the sentry have the guide for how you can set it up I will not come into this uh, in this video I think you're ready to to get some information about the code and how that will be working so let's go in for the application browser here and we can just click on something here and the 26 it's working and if I just say something else here that's will be broken and that's because the, the data doesn't exist inside the database and we are interesting into uh, to show some uh, some error here uh, in the first case we will just uh, try to found out to show the page 4 and 4 if something is going wrong so let's go back for the editor and uh, close this down we don't need that not for now. Going into uh, to the post uh, controller here and in, inside the view. And what we can do, it's uh, just saying here, if uh, if you don't found anything, then we can just say abort and say 404. Whoops, 404. And then we are close it up here. Let's go back for the website and see what happened. Now you can see we have the not found, the page is not found, but the way we do it here, it's uh, it, it's working, of course, but Laval have mm, a much easier way to, to work with that. Just, just uh, remove the code here again, and then you can just say first or fail. That's meaning if you don't have any entries, then you need to send it to the fail, and the fail will be the four and four page and let's reload again and then you can see the four and four is still 
uh, here. But what happening if you need to create your own custom uh, error page? Let's say you have a company where you want a nice uh, 404 page, then you can basically just going down to your resources here and in the views and just create a new uh, file here and say errors, that's the folder, and then just the 404 blade PHP. And 404 not found. Custom page here. If we're going back for the browser now, then we should hit the custom page and we do this. And we don't have any kind of design for that, and it's look pretty ugly, but it's all custom design now. So that's pretty nice. But what happening if you have a, a like a, a great a big application? Of course, you only create big application, of course. But if you have that, you know about it's very important to to capture about the exceptions to to uh, if something is going wrong, then you can send it up. So you don't need to check everything every time. So let's going back for the editor again and going to the controller here. To do this, we can just uh, use the try catch in a PHP and uh, then we can just do this one. And then we want to catch, catch the error. And uh, it's very important you use the backslash here and say exception. Because if you don't use the backslash, it's trying to use the namespace's own function. And that's not good because we want to catch the PHP exceptions. And then we got it here. And what we're gonna do now is just say return view because what we're gonna do now is if you don't confound any kind of users then we want to catch up and return the not the user sorry the posts and we want to go inside the errors and say post not found so let's copy this one and going down to the blades and going inside the error folder and paste this one inside and just say post not found. Your post is not found. Try to select a second one. And if I'm going back for the the browser again, a reload should be having the post not found. So the catch is working, and that's what we're gonna do. So when you're going inside here and you're just using the first or fail that's the first or fail will catch the error and catch the error will mean uh, will mean you will catch about the exceptions so and if you don't use the exceptions then you will just send it to the uh, 404 page but what if you want to to do the life more easy for yourself to to catch exactly that kind of errors then you need to create your own exceptions and we can do this to going back to the channel here and we just say make exception and post not found exception that's it now you can see we have the post not found inside here and we need function report and this one we don't need for now and then we need the render and the interesting one it's the render because the render it's the part where uh, it's sending out the the error so i'll just close this one and close this one and then we can just copy this and go inside and put it inside here and then we are basically good to go and going back and going up here and say use app exception and then we say post not found and the last thing 
we just need to do now and we say through and new exceptions here and if we're going back for the browser again then we can just reload and we still have it if I'm going back to 26 we have the right page here and then we can go back and say post not found so everything here it's working and this is a, a speed guide how we can work with the exceptions in level and I only show you the basic one so you know how it's working thank you so much to be here today and I really hope you enjoy I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can go in the right corner below press the ding and then you get subscribed and get more videos from me I really hope you want to like and share this video and don't forget to comment if you have any questions for me thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye